So I got a call yesterday about a guy with a triplex that gets like, I don't know, 2,600 bucks a month in rent and he wanted 95 K for it. And before I would have jumped all over that deal. Right. Um, but he needs cash. He, he needs a conventional purchase. Is there anything, I mean, is that even worth my time wholesaling it? I don't know until you try. Yeah. Okay. It may be. So I could just negotiate him down, lock it up, and then just try to flip it to an investor, and that's my only option. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, it's almost like more of a a focus thing right now because I I just decided today I'm not doing any deals under like thirty or forty k just because I don't have uh, like enough time to get them all marketed and you know it's it's a good problem to have. So do you guys do you guys do that? Like do you draw a line in the sand? And you're like we're not even messing with these, or or you go am I throwing deals away by doing that? Yes. Yes to what, Jeff? Yes to both those questions. Yes. <laughs> we draw a line in the sand and yes, we are throwing deals away. We throw deals away probably that you guys would probably keep just because we don't want to mess with some of this stuff. Yeah. Um, so as you get bigger uh, and more sophisticated in this business, you're going to find that your time is going to be, you're going to want an extra zero on that paycheck for everything you do, Nick, instead of, you know, something smaller and go for the bigger stuff. Yeah. And, I, and I'm not tell you if you're there yet or not. We, we certainly are there. We just don't mess with stuff. That's yeah. Well, that said today in our meeting, <laughs> three times I said, go ahead and take a deal that had less than a hundred thousand dollars on it. Just cause you know, we got money to spend and I want to get it used and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, I'm not there yet, but my pipeline's definitely getting, getting filled up and like I've had five properties that they would have just assigned over the, the mortgage or given me stupid good terms on a payment that are worth 10 or 20. And I'm like, I, I just got nine, nine units under contract. I got another $130,000 house. I'm signing up. Like it's just, I don't know. Maybe so, it's time to build your organization. Yeah. yeah I have a, a VA and an acquisition manager. that's doing a good job, but I need to, and a uh, Abdul, a bookkeeper so it's starting to it's starting to come together there but i definitely because it's like once you get it down you it's pretty efficient right so i can make calls for an hour a day and sign up a couple contracts a week so it's not a huge deal but i should still i should still be handing that off or scaling it up for sure yeah look at look at blair he doesn't make any calls a week ever i don't do squat Never. No, <laughs> I see him on three calls. We a don't, week. but we don't let him on the phone. That's the other He's thing. He's doing these calls. <laughs> yeah.